Rotisserie turkey breasts. There's nothing really like it because you've got the nice taste of some turkey that's been rotisseried and is nice and moist. And so I'm gonna make some of that up right now. And I'm Darnell with Wavo and Recipes, gonna do a rotisserie turkey breast roast in the Emerald Lagasse Power Air Fryer 360 XL. Let's get started on that rotisserie turkey breast right now. All right, so here I have my Butterball turkey breast roast. It's a boneless roast. And this one doesn't have like any special type of flavoring to it. It's just their regular old premium turkey breast roast. It's the standard three pounder. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the bag. All right, so I've got the turkey breast roast out. It comes in this uh, heat resistant bag you can use to cook it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the turkey breast onto the rotisserie rod here. So just gonna get it all set up. All right, so I got that meat locked in good and tight. Now what I'm gonna put on this turkey breast, since it doesn't have uh, any type of marinated seasoning that it came with, I'm going to include some Old Bay in my mix. I try some Old Bay on turkey. I got some black pepper I'll be freshly grinding, some applewood smoke, sea salt, and some extra virgin olive oil. Before I start getting it all covered in the oils and spices, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the cooker to the rotisserie setting. And I'm gonna drop the temperature down to 325. We're gonna have the air fryer fan running while it cooks. At 325, going to up the cooking time to one hour. I'm doing one hour and five minutes because really when it gets down to having cooked an hour, we're gonna stop and check if needed, add more time. That's why I just pad it by five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. It's preheating. While it preheats, I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil and the spices covered all over this turkey breast roast. All right, preheat's done. Gonna hit pause, turn back to the full hour plus five minutes that I had. Gonna get this on into the rotisserie, like so. Get it nice and in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and let that rotisserie spin it around a bit. All right, so I just wanna give you a view of the turkey breasts in there spinning on the rotisserie. You see it's spinning around. It's holding in there pretty well. So I think this will go pretty decent and we'll just let this continue to keep on cooking on. I'll bring you on back later. All right, we're coming into the final seconds of one hour. So as soon as it gets down to an even five minutes, I'm going to hit that stop, well that pause button, just to pause things. So now we got it paused and try and see if I can, with my gloved hands, get my thermopen open. All right, now let me go in here and check the tip. It's only at 128. We're, we're reading, uh, we're not reading very hot. We're not reading hot enough. So I'm going to stretch that time out a bit. I'm gonna add 15 minutes to the cooking time here. So it's out to like 20 minutes and gonna hit start. We'll see if another 15 minutes does the trick. So now it's been one hour, 15 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Will we have a turkey breast roast that is at least 165 degrees? We will find out now. Hitting pause and going to stick my thermal pan on in. I'm at 155, 156. So I've gone for an hour, 15 minutes, and I'm still about 15 degrees or so away. Well, 10 to 15 degrees away from my target temperature. So we still got a little bit more ways to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and just press it out for another, you know, it's probably gonna maybe overcook it a little bit, but I'm gonna cook it another well 15 minutes is what i wanted so i just got it set at 20 i'm only going to go another 15 minutes so that'll be an hour and a half at 325 hit start gonna let that cook for that next 15 and then i'll bring you on back 
All right, so now 90 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's give it another check of the temperature and see if we're really all done now. Hitting pause and going to stick my thermal pin in. Wow, I'm at like one, well maybe, maybe I'm just not, all right, I think I stuck it too far in. It's reading 165. Yeah, it's reading over 165 and in the 170, over here near the air fry fan, it's 180. Over here, away from it, yeah, it's in the 190s. So it's good, I think I stuck it too far in that time, but it took about 90 minutes really to ensure that we got that thing done because it really wasn't shown before no matter how I poked it. Um, anything over 165 earlier. So we're good and done now. There's our finished rotisserie turkey breast. And going to see if I can get it off of the rotisserie skewer. But I uh, just want to give you a closer look there. All right, got the turkey breast sliding off of there now. So we have our completed turkey breast roast. Just going to let it hang out there for a moment to reabsorb some of those juices. All right, so just gave the juices a little time to reabsorb. As far as this bag, you know, you want to try and get this bag off best you can. It's kind of hard to get it off while it's still hot, but I will say if you eat any of it, you know, it's not going to mess you up, but it will be added fiber in your meal if you eat some of the bag. But I'm just going to slice down the middle of this turkey breast roast after it's been cooking all that time. You can get that off. You can see the inside is nice and juicy and moist and succulent looking. So it looks like it turned out very well. I'm just going to take a slice here and just slice the slice off of there like so. And then just going to, for the sake of a taste test, see if I can get you know, maybe a piece that is string free. Let's see if I can get some of this stringage off just a little bit. All right, so I know I got no string over there, so we'll do our taste test from over here. And so I've got this piece off here. We'll taste test with that. All right, it's turkey breast roast taste testing time. After 90 minutes rotisserie, let's see how it is. All right, is that worth the wait? Definitely, yes. Very moist, very juicy, very tasty. The Old Bay spices and the pepper, you know, I can taste that in the bite. It's very good. So I definitely recommend trying this. And you know, when you're doing like this type of rotisserie, not doing really hot and fast cook, not trying to, you know, win any awards for speed when you're doing it like this, you just wanna get a really nice, tasty, succulent turkey breast. And that's what happened here very good and so you can find this recipe you'll see in the recipe well in the video description the link to the recipe the full printable recipe also you can see other ways in the video description to help this channel and you can also find on my blog other recipes superwaveovenrecipes.com is the web address also if you ever want to come directly to this youtube channel just direct your web browser to waveovenrecipes.com and this youtube channel will come right up for you and I'm also on Twitter and Instagram at Wave Oven Recipes. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and good eating.